All right, here we go. We're going to uh, use a four channel oscilloscope. For this uh, tutorial, we're going to need to build a three phase circuit. You will be working with some three phase power supplies for your rectifier lab. So I'll show you um, the power supply that you'll be working with. I'm going to uh, go up to the power supply group and I'm going to look for a three phase Y. It's the most common power source in industry. We can use either a Y or a delta source. I'm going to choose Y. So I'm going to pick that power supply, drop it into the wiring sheet. Um, we're going to need a ground for it. So I'll uh, get a ground while we're there, drop it in. And we're going to connect this power supply to a three phase half wave rectifier. So I'm going to go up to diodes. Click on place virtual diode. I'm going to drop three diodes in there. One, copy, two, copy, three. So I'm using control V on my keyboard. Okay, now I'm going to connect the power to the three phase half wave rectifier. I'm going to connect the output of the rectifier together. I'm going to get a load, get a lamp, a miscellaneous family, a virtual lamp. I'll drop it over here, uh, rotate it 90 degrees. And I need to change the rating on that lamp. I'll make it 150 volts. It's going to be a DC voltage on the output. And I'll make it 100 watts. Say OK. And we'll connect it up to the output of the supply. The DC supply, you'll be learning all about these. Now I need to get that ground connected. And it's connected. So now let's put in some uh, co some colors for our conductors. We'll do red, black, blue for three phase. So red, and then black for the center leg, and blue for the last one. And then we'll change this net color to. Uh, what should we do with that one? We'll make it this. A little bit different than red. I guess I think it's purple. And then the uh, return, we'll just make it same color as the earth. We'll make it black. Um, so um, we're going to get a couple of different meters. We're going to be using a four-channel oscilloscope. That's this one over here. But we're also going to use a multimeter. It's called an Agilent multimeter. We're going to do a couple of voltage measure, measurements with it and a frequency measurement. So it's a new meter that I'm introducing, but you'll be using it. It'll be in your lab. So I'll request that you use it. Okay. So we're all set up to hook up our meter. You'll notice that on, on, the, on the scope meter, we have four channels, A, B, C, D. Now this, this particular scope meter, it's not like the two channel. All of the measurements are referenced to the ground. All right, so you don't always have to hook it up, but we're going to hook it up in this case. So we're going to get ourselves a ground. We're going to connect it to that ground point. And then we're going to connect our three channels, ABC, to our line power on our three phase source. And our output from our rectifier is going to be connected to channel D. So we're going to view what the output, the rectified output looks like after the current is rectified through the diode section. Okay, so a couple of things we need to know. We're looking at this supply and it has, it's a four wire supply. So it's three phase four wire and it has a rating of 120 volts, 60 hertz. We need to click on it and find out what that rating is. That rating is 120 volts line to neutral RMS. Stated 
right where my mouse is, it shows it. Okay, it's set to 60 hertz. So keep that in mind, lined and neutral RMS. So that means that if you measure from line red, line black, or line blue to the neutral point, which is where my mouse is, it will read 120, but what will it read from line to line to line? Now it's three phase, let's just check that out. We're gonna use this Agilent meter, you double click on it, and it's gonna come up and show you the wiring connections. Okay, so you can see the wiring connections here. They represent the actual wiring connections on the meter. Well, let's hook those up. So we're gonna hook up the, uh, the 1000 volt max reading. We're gonna read line voltage first. So we'll put one of our leads in the black line and our other lead on the red line. And then we're gonna do that measurement. We'll do that measurement right now. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna power on the meter. By default, it's set to volts AC. You'll notice that it's 207.862. We might as well call that 208 volts AC. So on a three-phase four-wire system, the line to neutral voltage is 120 volts. The line to line voltage is 208 volts. So that's correct. Okay. Now we can prove that out by moving this conductor, this test lead rather, down to the neutral conductor point. And we'll run it. Power it on. 120 volts okay okay something else with the Agilent meter it has a frequency counter so you can measure voltage and frequency at the same time if I hit the frequency button button it'll tell me the time period okay so that's good to go all right let's set up this four channel scope I'm just gonna move this Agilent meter out of the way put it over here for a second actually I'll move it down over underneath okay now <clears throat> we're going to run this four channel so we run the simulation double click on on the uh, scope window on the scope window and it comes up i can't change the size of that that's okay now you just all you do is you see a bunch of lines okay so what we're going to do is um we're going to set the oscilloscope up each channel is connected now see this dial right here where my mouse is that's what selects the voltage per division for each channel. The scale is the same for all channels. Okay. But the volts per division can be adjusted. So we're going to set it for A. So I'm going to click in this window for A. You can notice we're set to A. And I'm going to take it up until I see a waveform. There's my red leg, the red line. Gonna do the same for B, channel B. Until I see B, I went too far. I'm gonna click the little dial, change it to C. I have C, now I'm gonna go D. And we're gonna see a different looking waveform on D. We're gonna see a rectified, unfiltered waveform. See that purple or violet? Um, waveform coming down and it's going to write on top of the AC. That's our output from our rectifier. I'm going to change the time base to 5 and I'm going to reverse it for a second. Now I'm going to just bump D back a little bit because um, we want to see, we want to kind of isolate it. You can see that's our output from our from our rectifier. Trying to widen it out a little bit. Oh, that's too much. So yeah, we'll keep it at five. And if I set the scaling the same, so every each channel is set to 100 volts per division. You can clearly see that purple line writing on top. Okay, maybe I will go back and change it to green. I knew there was a reason why. Let's see if it if it helps. Or the light green. Yeah, and you can see it right here. You can see that that's the actual rectified output 
So if you uh, if you just had a meter on the output, you would just see that on its own, derived from those from that three phase supply. Okay, so that's how we set up the four channel scope. Okay, uh, I think maybe what I'll do, um, I'll just quickly grab a two channel scope, and we'll just have a clear look at that waveform. Now this type of rectifier is less common than a full wave three phase rectifier. A full wave three phase rectifier is a lot easier to filter, but we do study this three phase half wave rectifier and it leads into the three phase full, which is predominantly used in industry. So it's, it's a good uh, lead into that. So I'm going to set this one up for you so you can clearly see the output. So that's the output, the rectifier. The average voltage, voltage is aligned through where my mouse is. Okay. We can filter it with some capacitors and get a nice straight DC level. We'll be doing that in further labs. Okay, so that's how to use a four-channel scope. Now, one more thing quickly before we're done. I'm going to use this Agilent meter to measure the output frequency of the power supply. Okay, we'll be measuring the output frequency of the DC power supply. Um, both half wave and three phase rectifiers. Okay, I'm going to run it. 180 hertz. Okay, so the uh, that freak that ripple frequency that you saw on the oscilloscope screen, it uh, it pulsates at 180 hertz or 180 times a second. So that's that green line on top. Okay, it's derived from 60, 60 hertz AC through three diodes. So they're electrical switches and they pulse. The switches are pulse, pulsing 180 times a second to generate that, that, that DC. Okay, we'll catch you in the next video.